I am Lindsay House. Um, I work with Choctaw Nation at Jones Academy, and I am the director of the Indian Demonstration Grant, and I have the Bot Ball program along with several things that this grant covers. I walked into Choctaw Nation in January 2015, and I was given a grant, and um, I chose Bot Ball because it was based out of Norman, and we could buy our robots and compete in Oklahoma, but also have the opportunity to go outside of Oklahoma and compete for nationals. Oh, it's huge collaboration because all five of them have to come together and decide what they want to do as a competition. They have to learn how to program their robot, they have to learn how to build their robot, and every way that they do it they have to score on the board that's behind us. And the board is set up so that they can score certain points. And as a team and a collaboration they have to figure out how they want to do that. This is going to be our third year of competition. We've done it for two years and they have grown Grown. With the two um, two years, um, we went from 14th to fourth. Hopefully, we'll get more kids involved, and we'll have uh, more than one team within the ten and a half counties. And I hope to spread it to other schools besides Jones Academy, and hope that everybody gets involved with the robotics and bot ball. Um, I have a summer STEM camp that is also covered in this STEM grant, and they had come to my summer camp, and we did a day of robotics where every child got to learn how to build and program a robot, and they also got to take it home with them. Almost everything in the future within the next 10 to 20 years is all going to be some kind of coding involved. How we make our cars, they code the robot to make our cars, and it is all going to be, I heard the other day that McDonald's had made a machine that was actually coded to make our hamburgers from a robot and then they spit it out. So everything within the future will have something to do with coding. Absolutely, for these kids to learn and go better themselves in any way, either to get along with one another or to problem solve, to learn a new skill, or even just to have an outlet besides sports or somewhere that they can come and hang out and it's something other than the norm. Um, the kids absolutely love building and programming their robots. Uh, my name is Coy Harley and we're doing bot ball, just practicing programming and uh, building the robots. Uh, we make like these kind of robots, um, they just like to drive and pick stuff up and then we make these ones that spin and they just drive around and hit stuff off. The coding is like kind of confusing but once you get through it and you actually make the robot do the right thing, it's fun. Well, I love how like we can just like learn how to build things, and like I learned how to code over the summer because of STEM camp, and because NASA came up there at the main school, and we just learned for like a good three hours about how to code, and it was like mind blowing about me. Yeah, like many people have told me like I could go work at Google or something for like fifty to sixty dollars, and that's like without a degree, and I can get more if I have a, a degree. But um, it's like very isolated. Like not many, not even college people know about ball ball. It's like weird for me. It's like well known at Jones. Oh, well, it's like when I play basketball, it's like so amazing. Like people are cheering me on and everything. Like there's a lot of pressure. So if I get it right, I'm just like so freaking happy. I jump up and down. Like that's what I did at the competition and everything. My name is Zach Duffy, and uh, I work with Choctaw Nation here at Jones Academy. Uh, and this is the Bot Ball program. Uh, this is my second year doing it. I started last last year, uh, January of last year. So, uh, and we went, we did great last year. Exceeded expectations by far. We went to, to Norman there, uh, got fourth place. We won one, and then we lost one. And then we kept on winning and winning and winning. And just to see the kids' uh, excitement was just, it was really, a, it was a, it was awesome. It was really fun, a lot of fun. And so we're back again this year, and we got a great turnout tonight. And uh, that's, so my background a little bit. Uh, I, before I came here, I had no uh, no coding experience really, uh, not a whole lot anyway. A little bit of building experience, um, but uh, I went to school for uh, for biology, so I didn't have a lot of coding experience. But I've learned a little bit on the fly now, and uh, and this, uh, it's it's easy to teach with this with the with the IDE that we have. So. I see the robotics and the bot ball here as a really a chance to see to really empower the kids uh, because they're seeing instantaneous feedback when they when they code in something and then they they, they compile it on the robot and they can see actually what what they just 
but to just code it in, which, which makes no sense to most of us before we even step in these doors, and to see that, the, that, uh, that they're able to control that robot's movements or uh, some of its actions. It's just, it, I think it's a really great feeling for the kids, and also, uh, like I said, uh, a, lot of, a lot of the teaching that goes on here is just, uh, just experiential, it's just uh, trial and error type stuff. So. It definitely excites the kids. They, they look at the, the possibility of going to nationals as really the crowning, the crown jewels kind of thing to say. So uh, that definitely helps in recruitment for, as far, for sure as far as getting kids down here. Um, and so that's, yeah, it, it, it certainly helps a, a lot uh, because look, like the previous question as far as a lot of some of the kids that, that show up here at Jones Academy might not have had some of those opportunities ever to, to go on out of state or to, to make nationals and to have that kind of success uh, that early on. And we hope to have that continued success. It's just, I think it's really great for the kids' uh, morale and everything. And, and it, so it, it certainly helps a lot.